This week we go to college. They took the bar! It's Animal House. The whole fucking bar! And we drank some Stone Coffee Stout. Stick around, motherfuckers. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. I'm very excited about this week's episode. I love this movie. I gotta agree. Animal House is one of my all-time favorites. Like to say, I fashion my life after John Belushi's character, Bluto. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, sir. You can't be drunk and stupid. I have to disagree. Y'all live in proof. Shut it. So we got three of our favorite scenes, and I went and found another great breakfast beer. Call it what you want. It's great with eggs. Anyway, Animal House, if you've lived under a rock, is story of a fraternity, Delta... I can't pronounce this shit. The evil Dean Wormer is trying to get rid of the fraternity for good. I personally think they're just everyday fun-loving guys without a care in the world, kind of like us. The gravity's rolling. We cannot talk about Animal House without the almost 26 minutes of John Belushi's character. We're just the guys to do it. Almost had all Belushi in this, but it really cut it back. So two out of the three scenes. Scene one, the food fight. It all starts with him eating food down the line. His eye acting is amazing. Then he sits down and asks, See if you can guess what I am now. I'm a zit. Get it? I laugh my balls off every time I see that scene. <laughs> I sit. Get it? Good stuff. Add injury to insult as he does the horse sound. To Nehemiah. I love how they fuck with him. I'm gonna watch the whole thing again tonight. Scene two. Just stick with Pluto again. During the Togo party, he's coming down the steps. And this other dude is serenading a few ladies. Belushi's face to the lead up. It's just about as funny as it fucking gets. Until the final result. <laughs> I love how he just loses it. <laughs> then back to calm. Sorry. I wish I could do this in public. Like 95% of the time, whenever I'm around all you dipshits. This should actually be a stress relief regimen. Okay, and scene number three is during a visit to see Otis Day and the Knights. It's a little uncomfortable situation as they enter. Then the guys ask him, Do you mind if we dance with your dates? Why no, not at all. Sometimes you just have to do what's best. No need for a lynching, right? Well, no. I'm sure the ladies just wanted to help out. Man, we could do a whole nother episode on this. But this is it. Nothing is over until we decide it is. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? No, it's not over. We have a beer to rate and this movie. Okay. I'm going 5 out of 5, as Animal House is one of my top 5 movies of all time. If I could give it 6, I would. Well, it is our podcast, and math isn't your strong suit, so when we set up a 5 beer limit, do whatever. Okay, 6 out of 5. Man, this power sure feels good. I'm gonna just stay within the limit of the rules. Still go 5 out of 5, and our beer from Stone Brewing is a milk stout, which means it's good for your bones. Not sure that's correct, but I found a whole new appreciation for this craft beer shit. I'm giving this one a six pack of mugs as well. You are generous today. Got five bucks I can borrow? No, but I'll even let you pick next week's movie. You're an asshole. You know we talked about doing the whole Star Wars series. Oh yeah, well maybe next time. Okay, I sort of like the IPA a little better. So I'm going to give this four out of six. All right. So as John has already spilled the means, we're going to go Star Wars in order from episode 1 through 9 and the two side stories. If it isn't going well, we may break it up with a flick or two during the episode 4 week since we already did that one. With that, I say good day, you ass wipes. May the beer be with you. See you next week. See ya. Don't forget to share the shit out of this and subscribe.